Uh, welcome back to Decentralized News. In today's video, I just want to talk to you guys about Senate DAO, which is a project that has a token, um, which is uh, this uh, Senate DAO token. And uh, it's currently available for trading on uh, Digifinex, Gate.io, Bitfinex, and uh, Bitmax, Uniswap V2. Uh, so, you know, it's got some uh, major listings and uh, the token ticker is uh, Senate, which is uh, S-E. N-A-T-E currently trading at around uh, 38 cents let me know if this is a project you guys are familiar with and uh, uh, let me know what your feedback is after this quick uh, explainer video but uh, like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it so Asidus Heroes is uh, considered to be the gaming industry uh, and uh, the first NFT based AAA level play to earn MMORPG game. So events inside the game are supposed to take place in a futuristic world that is based on uh, crypto and blockchain philosophy where all living beings have emerged with uh, technology to create uh, superior races. So the hottest uh, 12 blockchains are represented as uh, planets within this uh, Sidus Heroes game. Uh, so you've got Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, uh, Polk, Sion, etc. They all have their own race of uh, beings and uh, every race has its own distinctive uh, features as well as an army and a political system making the gaming process an enjoyable adventure with a wide variety of uh, unique gameplay scenarios. Sidus Heroes also relies on the Sidus Gaming Token which is a uh, and the Senate governance token. So uh, the Sidus Heroes uh, players can also start playing on any device without uh, downloading a new application. An internet browser is enough for you to play the game. This is possible, you know, to thanks to the unique web GL technology and uh, the Sidus team has been working on this for some three years or so. The technology is compatible with the Unreal Engine 5 and supports high quality 3D art and a high efficiency engine. So, you know, you can also, if you're a player, you can also become farmers or uh, grinders that collect resources from mines fields while traveling through space and uh, you can sell these on the marketplace for coins you can buy craft equipment especially uh, spaceships and uh, components for them like uh, ammunition weapons and medicine and uh, sell manufactured products to fighters as well you can uh, fight with other players in the battle arena participate in tournaments and build uh, fighting legions to try and rise on uh, uh, top of one another and uh, you can also try your hand at uh, being a scientist that explores new technologies and discovers new resources to figure out how to modernize life in this new universe. So Senate is the token which is used by the in-game mechanics as a governance coin as well as an in-game currency for certain products within the game. The voting system implemented uh, uses uh, third-party solutions and or specifically is designed um, to have a specific contract so users who hold uh, senate tokens will be able to sort of uh, create factions and manage them by holding votes they can also take part in the project level uh, voting to steer the game development process and uh, purchase in-game items you can also purchase uh, spaceships modules for space stations and land plots which is uh, not possible with the Sidus uh, token. So, you know, this is a dual token ecosystem. Um, Senate is uh, the token I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, you can uh, currently find it uh, on Gate.io. It has a USDT pay. Uniswap, it has a wrapped Ethereum pay. You've got a, a fiat pay with USD on uh, Bitfinex. And uh, it's also available on uh, Digifinex uh, with a USDT pay. So this is quite an interesting uh, one, Senate DAO and uh, this whole side is gaming uh, ecosystem. I'm interested to know if you guys are gamers or if you are into this sort of space. This is just one of these niches that I've really been paying a lot of attention to because I think it has a lot of potential to be at the forefront of what will spur like mass adoption as far as uh, onboarding new users into the crypto ecosystem. I feel like personally we are struggling in the markets at the moment just because obviously the broader like uh, 
uh, geopolitical uh, tensions and obviously the bro broader sort of uh, micro uh, economic conditions and uh, with interest rates uh, going up and uh, inflation going up at the moment people are like scaling down from uh, risk on assets and things like that but I just feel like uh, there's a whole lot of uh, potential when um, uh, because at the end of the day, if you think about the ecosystem participants in crypto at the moment who are holding up this damn near uh, $2 trillion market cap, um, it is uh, a lot of these guys are people that have been in the space for a long time, uh, like um, and uh, maybe some new entrants as well. But I think there's still potential for new money flows to come into the ecosystem. And I think when uh, people uh kind of you know have had enough of uh their reserves in terms of uh you know the assets that they want to use as hedges against uh, or you know against some of these uh, problems that are uh, we're seeing in the traditional markets in terms of like high inflation and stuff and the assets being like uh, bitcoin and things like that that have uh, stores of value and uh, sort of appreciation um uh or deflationary mechanisms that are built into their tokenomics i think we'll see uh investors start to diversify especially if it's a retail market based um sort of uh rise back up in terms of uh kind of uh injecting new capital into the markets i think uh gaming is one of those niches that we'll see a lot of uh uh, inflows of funds so i think there's potential to uh, make some returns with uh, some of these uh, tokens within this ecosystem uh, that's why i've been looking at a lot of our uh, fan tokens a lot of our uh, gaming metaverse nft type projects uh, but of course you know the 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 thing there is uh, to always be um uh, knowledgeable enough or get enough or do your own research enough research for you to be able to discern what good projects are and what aren't and uh what has the potential to stick around because i think there's quite a lot uh in terms of what's going on and uh, a lot of these projects actually don't have any merit to them so yeah guys i think uh, let's uh, do a deeper dive uh find out what you guys think and uh, leave your comments on uh in the comment box and let me know what other projects you want me to take a look at don't forget to check out links to my books tokenized trillions and blockchain applied you can learn a whole lot about real world asset tokenization on the blockchain as well as the different use cases across a number of different industries as well check out our discord our telegram i'd love to have you there go to our main site decentralized.news best uh, reviews best uh, explainers guides we also have uh, free resources and tools to help you navigate your way in this uh, crypto ecosystem till next time like share subscribe turn on that notification bell peace and love i'll see you again soon peace